A week after she was viciously assaulted, Rennell Harper has been released from hospital and is now safe at home with her family. Her mother telling Global News Rennell is very tired and hasn't said much about the attack. It's a remarkable recovery one Aboriginal leaders are grateful for. The attack on Harper triggered a wave of outrage and anger, which intensified when police arrested two young men, 20-year-old Justin Hudson and a 17-year-old youth who can't be identified. At a news conference last week, Rennell's family asked people not to retaliate. We're not violent people. We were never brought up into, into, in, the, in this place to be violent, to, to, to raise violence. But that appeal hasn't stopped a torrent of abuse aimed at the accused. The Facebook page of Justin Hudson is now filled with angry rants and threats. Among them, we really hope you get what's coming. And walk out anywhere and you're a dead man walking. We'll take that information, we'll monitor it, and if we have to, uh, you know, move forward, uh, we certainly will. Uh, we're not going to tolerate any, uh, you know, form of uh, threat or, or vigilantism in any way, shape or form. As well, people have been posting the name and pictures of the 17-year-old youth who has also been charged, even though the law says he can't be identified. There could be uh, charges, it seems to me, um, uh, under the criminal code, uh, or under the Young Offenders Act for breaching, um, breaching the law by naming the young offender and by uh, posting his picture. Rennell's mother told Global News Today she's a Christian and forgives her daughter's attackers. But it's clear others are not ready to do that. Jopper Beau, Global News, Ottawa.